This is Plant-Based Briefing, Conquering Addiction to Processed Foods on a Plant-Based Diet by Yvonne Dennis at ForksOverKnives.com. I'm inserting a quick note here to say that I had an audio issue starting with episode 787, and unfortunately it's going all the way through 794 because I recorded them all at once. I can go back and sort of fix them, but it's not great, so just bear with me, and they will get back to normal starting with 795. So now let's get back to today's episode. And I'm Marian Erickson. This is the Plant-Based Podcast, where I narrate a variety of articles on plant-based and vegan topics with permission in about 10 minutes or less every weekday. And today is a success story from Forks Over Knives. I'm pleased to have permission to share their content. And these success stories are always so inspirational. So now let's get to today's plant-based briefing. Conquering Addiction to Processed Foods on a Plant-Based Diet by Yvonne Dennis at ForksOverKnives.com. I struggled with being overweight for most of my adult life. At my heaviest, I was 250 pounds. I managed to shed around 50 pounds after going pescatarian in 2006, but I still had excess weight, along with fatigue and brain fog. Although I went vegetarian in 2015, I ate very few vegetables, opting instead for meatless chicken nuggets, soy cheeses, potato chips, waffles, and other foods packed with added sugar, salt, and oil. A Taste of Better Living For a 2017 New Year's resolution, I challenged myself to eliminate dairy and highly processed foods from my diet. I stuck with it for 11 days. After that, I had to ask myself, why, during those 11 days, could I not stop thinking about junk food? I started researching what might be behind these compulsions. I read The Pleasure Trap by Alan Goldhammer, D.C. and Douglas Lyle, Ph.D., and learned about the addictive nature of refined foods. I also learned about calorie density— and how whole plant foods are lower in calorie density than highly processed and animal foods. I decided to apply this newfound knowledge and began transitioning to the whole food plant-based way of eating. I completely eliminated added salt, oil, refined sugar, and refined flour products because these were the foods that I was most addicted to. I also cut out alcohol. I noticed changes, some immediate, some gradual. My energy started increasing. My thinking became clearer. My complexion improved. My nails, which had been splitting, grew stronger, and the excess weight was dropping off. But the most pleasant surprise of all was that I no longer felt driven by addiction to junk foods. The longer I went without them, the less my brain called out for them, and the more freedom I felt. Committing to a plant-based diet Some heavy life trauma came my way later in 2017, and I turned back to salty, sugary foods for comfort. But I never forgot the sense of freedom that I had experienced when whole food plant-based. And after a few failed starts, I recommitted to eating this way in January 2020. Gaining confidence in the kitchen was a challenge. I'd never thought of myself as a good cook. But I found some delicious whole food plant-based recipes online, like potato tacos on lettuce leaves, and I wound up becoming an excellent chef. Extraordinary Changes Over the last year, I've lost more than 60 pounds— The benefits go deeper than the weight loss. As a result of improved clarity of thinking, I'm now more in tune with my mental health. This is important as I've been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, anxiety, depression, and post-traumatic stress disorder. Last summer, I battled exhausting depression symptoms for about five weeks. It was not a new experience, but this time I was able to recognize what was happening and have the presence of mind to dramatically increase my self-care. Eating the whole plant foods I love, abstaining from salt, oil, flour, alcohol, and sugar, and staying well hydrated have all gone a long way in cutting my junk food cravings. These days, I keep it pretty simple when it comes to what I eat. I love baked potatoes and sweet potatoes, especially topped with mushrooms, which I saute in their own juices. I enjoy oatmeal and other whole grains, and I eat a lot of apples, bananas, pineapples, and other fruits. Learning how to sustain this way of eating has changed my life in such extraordinary ways. I'm a single mom to two daughters, ages 25 and 17. My 17-year-old has had a front row seat to my journey and has been inspired to make some changes for her health, too. You just listened to Conquering Addiction to Processed Foods on a Plant-Based Diet by Yvonne Dennis at ForksOverKnives.com, and I'm your host, Marian Erickson. And in case you're interested, I'll link some related episodes in the show notes. 125, How to Lose Weight by Eating More Food. 168, The Calorie Density Approach to Nutrition and Lifelong Weight Management. 436, Losing Weight on a Plant-Based Vegan Diet, Tips for Success. 
455, calorie density is the key to weight loss. 485, breaking free of the dietary pleasure trap. And 565, cut the calorie rich and processed foods or crap. So please share this episode with anyone who might benefit and thanks for listening.